you, you showed up for jury duty, and then you posted, I believe uh, we have a photo of you with your juror badge. <laughs> you don't look like a responsible juror there. <laughs> That's the idea. That's so the you don't idea. Get picked. Did you, uh, they didn't pick you. Well, I, I, so yeah, I showed up, and then uh, the, the way it works is here in LA is if you, you sit and wait in a room all day, and, and, and then if you don't get called into a jury or into the voir dire process, then you're let go and you're done. Right. So I effectively did my jury duty, but I didn't have to sit on, on an actual jury. That said, don't think I didn't tweet about it to brag about my civic duty <laughs> that I served. Do you think you'd be, uh, it's funny, because you have, and correct me if I'm wrong, but you look, if you had not made it big in show business, you look like a guy who would have been a good lawyer. I would have been an awesome lawyer. You think you would have been a good lawyer? Yeah. I think I would have been a, an exceptional lawyer. It's not that hard. What do you mean it's not that it's hard? It's not that hard. I'll demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> All you got to do is sort of pace around and lean on things and, you know, That's, be real. No, be you real have to know a lot of stuff. That's no, no, no. <laughs> you just kind of, you just kind of own the space. You stick your butt out a little bit and... <laughs> <laughs> Mr. O'Brien. Where were you on the night of December 10th? Uh, okay, I was at a friend's holiday party. A friend's holiday party, you say? <laughs> That's what you, you just repeat what they say. Just repeat and stuff? Say, and then you say, I see, I see. So like, a friend's holiday party, I see, I see. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and who might this friend have been, Mr. O'Brien? Uh, it, <laughs> it was Will Arnett, Will Arnett. <laughs> So not just any friend, a, a, a name droppy celebrity friend. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Okay, now you're expecting the ladies and gentlemen of this jury to believe that a very tan, handsome, hirsute gentleman like William Arnett would have in his domicile the likes of you. A red-headed interloper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm saying that, yes. Okay, all right. Well, uh, I would just have to say that that is Boulder Dash, sir. What year Admit is this? Admit that you weren't there. <laughs> Fine, I wasn't there. I was at Kendrick Lamar's house. But I remind you, you are under oath. All right, I was, uh, I was in a bath and I was doing Sudoku. <laughs> When did you lose your virginity? Okay, how does this have... <laughs> how does this have anything to do with anything? Answer the question, Mr. O'Brien! Fine, 15. Age 15. The year 2015. <laughs> <laughs> Objection! Okay, what, what are you objecting to? Guilty! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not guilty of anything. Sustained. Okay, are you? Are you sure you've actually been in a courtroom before? Bailiff. Now you're just saying words. Gavel. <laughs> Answer the question. What? What did you say? I'm the Southern Judge. <laughs> Why are you involved suddenly? You woke me up from my nap. <laughs> now reveal yourself, you cad. Now, do you try to convince me this is real hair? I don't even believe this uh, crappy hairpiece. You know who'd wear a hairpiece like that? I don't know, who? The moiderer! <laughs> <laughs> Case closed. Yeah, that's just, so you think that's all it takes? That's yeah. all it takes? Yeah, I mean, I'll admit we got off the rails a little bit there, but <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> I think I, I was with it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. And I think if uh, if anything, I made a very compelling case that I would be a horrific lawyer. <laughs> you would be a great lawyer in 1905. Yeah. I think. <laughs> and if nothing was at stake. Right. Right. If those things if lined was, up. I was like a parking ticket lawyer for Model T's in Charleston, <laughs> South Carolina. You'd be all right.